We're moving to Christmas Eve. And we got Middle Tennessee against San Diego State in the Hawaii Bowl. Uh, San Diego State, a seven-point favorite. The total sits at 49.5. Of course, latest numbers at BetUS. Saturday, December 24th at 7 p.m. Central Time, God's Time Zone. And we'll go on and pull that one up on your screen as well. And I've got Middle Tennessee favored in this game. Since week eight of the season, now obviously strength of schedule plays into this, Middle Tennessee number 121 at San Diego State number 81. PPA margin, San Diego State is number 11, Middle Tennessee number 21. So two of the better performing teams towards the end of the season. Uh, Middle Tennessee won four of their last five games. They have looked really good. And the biggest point on that is they are number 22 in offensive success rate, number 34 in offensive PPA per drive. But the Middle Tennessee defense has been pretty good as well. Number 28 defensive PPA per drive. Um, and the San Diego State, Brady Hoke and that bunch, they, they are very familiar with playing at Hawaii. I, I get that. Uh, number nine defensive PPA per drive. But that offense, eh, cons- I mean, consistently inconsistent, right? Isn't that the biggest, isn't that the biggest difference? Uh, they are number... 46 in offensive PPA per drive. They're number 52 in offensive success rate. So you start looking at available yards, margin, etc. It does not, it does not go well for <laughs> for San Diego State because they are number 115 on offense. They get uh, they only get 37 percent of the available yards in a game on average. I mean that is just that is brutal. Absolutely brutal. So uh, looking at some of these other numbers, as far as the Middle Tennessee offense is concerned, number 33 PPA per pass uh, versus number 45 for San Diego State's defense. Number five in passing success rate, San Diego State's defense, number 65. So they'll be able to move it down the field. Standard downs PPA, standard down success. Uh, Middle Tennessee, not nearly as good on offense as San Diego State is on defense. But when you continue to hammer away at them, I think that there's a way that they can take advantage of San Diego State's defense. Uh, San Diego State being favored by a lot of points has never really worked out well for them this season. I think they're two and four against the spread as a as a favorite. Um, so not not great, not great by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, points per scoring opportunity. Uh, Middle Tennessee is set number seventy five, uh, but they get seven point four zero per game over the last six weeks of the season. Uh, so the more chances that they get down there, uh, I would imagine they'll be able to score more. I I don't think this is going to be a super high-scoring game. I know that this total is 49.5. I've got it at 46. Uh, I'm going to go Middle Tennessee. I mean, my numbers have them actually favored in the game. I I, I expect low scoring and I maybe a field goal, maybe a 21-17 to 17 kind of game somewhere around there. And it wouldn't shock me if Rick Stockstill's bunch finds a way to win this game. Yeah, they did it last year in the Bahamas Bowl as a, a double-digit underdog came out and beat Toledo outright. Now, San Diego State is not exactly Toledo. Don't get me wrong. But it, there you go. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.